here this evening. Spencer Hewitt taking on at Michael Diaguar, 63 kilo. Nogi Bao. Michael Diagua, he is a BJJ brown belt under Roberto Almeida and Amori Batetti. Spencer Hewitt, BJJ black belt. Seen him once before at Polaris 4 back in October of 2016. Unfortunately, fell by heel hook to Phil Harris. Big MMA background to Spencer Hewitt, though. Josh Parler, Tom Barlow, and Dan Strauss bringing you all the action here live from the lighthouse here in Poole on the south coast of the good. UK. And guys, we're in for a good night okay, this evening. Fight. Yeah, some excellent fights on the card. So early color size here, Dagor in the white, Spencer Hewitt in the all black. 10 minutes for these preliminary bounces, as you can see on the clock there. Our referee, Ed Ingemels, overseeing this one. Yeah, it looks like both guys are trying to get a, a little bit of an attachment, maybe to attack some takedowns. Yeah, I'm sure with uh, the MMA experience, Spencer here will be happy to get this into a bit more of a wrestling match, a bit more of a, a harsher type of grapple, perhaps. But Michael Dagua, I don't know a whole lot about him other than the brown belt that he has. Looks for the Imanari roll, easily stepped out of by Hewitt. Yeah, Spencer, oh. Spencer was well aware of uh, that, that attack. I was going to say, Dan, a move we're seeing quite a lot in uh, in uh, submission grappling these days. Yeah, and it's uh, it's one of those moves It's just exciting. It's one of those things that people just go for because they know it's going to get the crowd a little bit excited. And, uh, and sometimes it works. When it does, you've always got yourself a highlight reel finish there. So Hewitt and Agor are still fighting for the grips here. We've got seven preliminary bouts coming your way this evening. Our only gi matches are taking place on this preliminary card as well. Of course, up at 9 o'clock, it is our main card. That's live and exclusive on UFC Fight Pass. Do get involved on all social media this evening. Hashtag Polaris10. Let us know your thoughts you on the evening. We'll do our best to involve some of you in the action tonight if we can. But nobody really taking control of this stand-up battle here. It seems a little bit measured in pace so far, guys. Yeah, both guys seem to be feeling each other out, um, looking for any kind of real entry. Yeah, just like nothing too committal here. When people are just looking for stuff like arm drags, that means that they're not really, or leg taps like that, little, little uh, leg tap that Spencer got. They're not really committing themselves to any of the takedowns. So you can already tell that neither of these guys want to be on the bottom. They're really looking to fight for top position, but not quite confident enough to, to hit a big shot or uh, really overcommit to the takedown yet. Do you think they need to commit a little bit more to these feints, try and sell them a little bit more? Uh, you never know what's going through the individual's head when they're, uh, when they're engaging this stand-up. You know, it can take a few minutes to really get a measure of your opponent and decide what's going to happen or what's not. And unfortunately, that can sometimes take a little bit too long into the match. So I think people need to be very, grapplers need to be very prepared to change their game plan if it's not working for them. We're two and a half minutes into this first one, and so far it is just taking place on the feet here. Yeah, Dagula is definitely the more pushing forwards of the two, although he's not actually throwing too many attacks in. Very vicious uh, grip break from Spencer Hewitt there, stomping the mat. Uh, a wry smile between the two of them. So forehead to forehead here. Nobody's really dominating that inside head position. We've seen Aguilar look for that snap down a couple of times now. So Aguilar might just sit underneath him yeah, here and pull to single leg X. For a second there, it did look like he was about to sit down. Which at this point, you know, you're getting four minutes into the match. You're thinking, if nothing's happened here, I'd rather uh, hit, the, hit the ground and see what we can get going there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's about now the referees will probably have to start looking at, you know, not necessarily stalling calls, but just letting the fighters know they need to, need to push this forward a little bit. There we go, we've got a goal pull. Yeah, sits underneath. It looks like he's immediately come on top, trying to lace that leg. Well, he's, he's got uh, nothing so far. That's pulled it in a little bit deeper. He'll look here. Yeah, Spencer looks like he's just managed to free up his knee line enough to escape the... That, that was a legitimate attempt, though. You can kind of tell that... Uh, yeah, inside heel like again from Dagor. He's trying to haul him back in or attack that secondary leg. So Spencer Hewitt, yeah, he's, he's cleared the initial attack. The question is, how's he going to deal with the grips now? 
I think it's quite obvious that uh, Michael has studied Spencer and watched his last match on Polaris, seen that he's possibly a little bit susceptible to the legs, so really looking to go for that. I expect to see a few more attempts from him on the legs, especially off the back here. Yeah, Phil Harris besting Spencer Hewitt last time out. Phil Harris, of course, is on the card uh, this evening. Push the head, don't slap him, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Ingramel's telling uh, Spencer, we're not fighting MMA. This is a grappling match, no punching. Yeah, you get a bit carried away with the cod size sometimes. I'm pretty certain we're going to see some of that later. No, Russian tie attempted by Spencer Hewitt. He's, uh, he's gone for that uh, arm drag a couple of times now, and it's not really come to fruition for him yet. Yeah, maybe Dagalar will look to sit back down to the guard. He was pretty um, pretty successful from that position, in all honesty, his best attack of the fight it so far. It was a good bite on the leg, to be honest with you. So uh, I think that that probably gave him some confidence. I don't think he'll be as hesitant to sit to the ground now as he was in the earlier minutes of the match. Yeah, you see, now this is where the, the scoring criteria here at Polaris really comes into play, because these bouts are broken down into three three minute and 20 second periods, and y you only get a win each period. So undoubtedly Aguilar, if nothing else happens in the next minute or so, he's going to take that second period for yeah. by virtue of that. The question is, how do you score the first period and what's going to happen in the third? You don't. You forget that it ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, <laughs> you have to give a winner. You can't give a 10-10 here. Yeah, so it's really, really close. The first round is kind of a could go to anyone so well I do think I have to say I do think sometimes the competitors forget that a little bit and they're happy to have a feeling out process but you know one more significant action during that feeling out process and you could be the one walking away with an easy period win yeah I think th I think the best strategy is to come in really aggressive in the first 30 seconds even if you want to coast for the next couple of minutes and feel out your opponent at least then it's something stuck in the Nice take there from Aguilar, uh, just tr inside trip with that head control. Yeah, it was a lazy shot from Spencer Hewitt, really, and Aguilar's on top now. He's going to earn side control for it, and he's got a head wrap here on the left-hand side. Yeah, Michael's got a lot of options from this position that he can start attacking with. And if nothing else, he's solidified this period of time. Yeah, absolutely. We're just about to cross into the third and final time period. Spencer Hewitt, easy technical stand-up, back to the feet. He's really got to get something going now. Shot to the single leg, tries to haul him down into a leg entry, but ends up yeah. on top. An orthodox takedown, but it worked. Yeah, Michael definitely starting to uh, gather some confidence towards the end of this match. Yeah, you can clearly see him picking the pace up a little yeah, bit definitely. now. Yeah, Spencer's going to need to really attack in this last period just to try and uh, get the submission, really. Well, Hewitt's on an inside single here, but he's left his... Head and neck exposed. He is going to complete that, though. He's got to get a hand inside and defend here. It looks like it's quite high, good high elbow attempt from uh, Lagua. Yeah, Spencer s stuffs that guillotine attempt by passing to the correct Sorry, side. Spencer's really got Straight back in, like two and a half minutes now to up the pace, and he needs to absolutely take this round at the very least. Your judges this evening, Neil Williams, Dan Hardy, and David Anuma. Their mat side going to be deciding on all of the action this evening. Two minutes, 20 left on the clock here. Guys, if you're in the corner of Spencer Hewitt, what uh, advice are you shouting right now? Go for a flying armbar. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He needs to do something to win. I, I personally have him uh, down two rounds, so I think uh, I think he really needs to push the pace no matter what. Well, he tries to cartwheel over the top. The Agua wise stands back up to the feet. Last two minutes here. Lots more action coming your way this evening. The next bout on tonight's card, Trevor Birmingham from just down the road in Southampton is going to be taking on Enrique Villasenor. Some great preliminary matches to follow that. Of course, we've got three titles on the line tonight. Lightweight, featherweight, and middleweight. Very loose Cannabisami entry from uh, Dagwell there. Spencer says no, no, no. Well, he is, I have to say, I think he is the one who's got to push the pace a bit more, though. Yeah, he's, he's got one minute and 20 seconds to really... He needs to absolutely do something dramatic to either finish the fight at this point or to uh, the very least secure this last round. And even then, I don't think it's uh, looking too good for him. Yeah, there's not that sense of urgency that he needs, really. Well, the, crowd are, the crowd are trying to do something and uh, get behind the fighters. But uh, final 57 seconds here. Spencer Hewitt again looking at that leg tap. Yeah, it's, you know, one minute left of the match. There's no point fainting at this point. You might as well be looking to shoot, putting 100% effort into everything. Uh, 
instead of just slowly letting the match slip out of your fingers. Yeah, guard pull from Dagwar again, looking to get all the way underneath. You can see he's pulled to you that inside butterfly, attacking that far arm. Yeah, I think it's quite obvious that uh, Michael's come in with a game plan, and the game plan is to get on those legs. Didn't really change level there at all, just uh, I think trying to throw Spencer off balance. But last 20 seconds here. Looks like we're going to go the distance in our opening bout here at Polaris 10 this evening. Live from the lighthouse in pool. Imanari roll again from Dagwar. That's a good bite onto an arm. I think that's probably enough to give him the third round, it has to be said. Yeah, I would say so. He's definitely done the more right. work in this final round as well. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think we're going to have to guess which way the judges are going to go on this one. I firmly suspect that Michael Diagua is going to take a decision win here on our opening bout in the 63 kilo category. Yeah, rightfully so. I don't think that uh, Spencer Hewitt really got into his rhythm whatsoever. Didn't really have any attacks of his own. Let's take a look at some of the replays from that opening match. There's some collar ties from Diaguar, and this was the good entry he had straight off the bat into almost a butterfly guard sweep into a leg entry. In here, snapping Spencer Hewitt down. Once he got the head and arm control, easy to rag him down to the mat with a change of direction. This was the unorthodox uh, kind of uh, suicide single leg, perhaps. Yeah, it was, it was definitely an attempted leg entry, and uh, Spencer defended it by rolling onto his back, and he just took the top position off of that. You see again here, Hewitt perhaps a little bit too static on that single, didn't move, didn't change the angle, allowed Diaguar to set up his defences. Let's throw it over to our MC, Bidet Johnson, who's going to have our official decision. This bout goes the distance, 10 minutes. We go to your judge's decision, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Michael! So a win for Michael Diago. We'll see you in a few short seconds for our second bout this evening.